So we were lucky when we picked up our three does in the spring that one of them was already bred. Um, she has since kitted and gave us this beautiful little doling that has been an absolute blast watching her grow over the past few weeks. But we knew if we wanted more kids on the farm that we were going to either need our own buck or to figure out some sort of stud coverage for the other does. Now, with these being miniature Nubians, um, we are, as far as I know, the only ones in the area that have them. So the stud service was not going to be an easy option. So that meant we were gonna need to find a buck. So we decided to get a buckling for two reasons. One, uh, it would grow up on our farm and it would be used to us and hopefully that would help with temperament and friendliness. And the other reason is that um, Nevada State law says if they are under six months old, you just need to have a uh, health screening done by a vet. Uh, as long as it has a clean bill of health, then you can get an entry permit for under six months. If they are over six months old, uh, you have to have uh, multiple tests done, um, CL, CAE, uh, tuberculosis, um, just for a few examples there, of other tests that need to be run in order to bring the animal into the state. So we decided to start looking for a buckling that was under six months old. Um, this is what we found. This is Colton from Hop and Hoof's farm up in Oregon, and he has the color and the confirmation and milk lines that we wanted to add genetically into our herd. And he was born in February, so that meets our criteria of under six months. So after talking with the breeders, we made a deal and put a down payment on Colton until we were able to get all of the paperwork handled and figure out when uh, we were going to be able to get up to Oregon with uh, the whole COVID thing going on. We didn't know where we were going to be able to stay um, and how it was going to be traveling. Uh, so we had to get that side of it figured out. But once we did, we were able to set a date and make the trip. So with having a new kid at home, we couldn't make the trip as a family. So we decided just my daughter and I would head through California and up into Oregon and over to the Oregon coast on our way to Brookings. And we left early Saturday morning and got there Saturday afternoon. Gave us just a couple hours at the beach before we went back to the hotel. The next morning we went to Hop and Hooves Farm where we were able to pick up Colton. We were able to see Colton's mom and his dad and the dam and sire. And then it was back through Oregon and into California. For a long drive before finally getting back home to Nevada. We're almost home. It's been 985 miles up to Oregon and back. Thanks for being my co-pilot. Excited? Yes. Have your Colton? Yep. Okay. Almost home. Hi Colton. How you doing? <coughs> Hi buddy. Colton. This is what our daughter bought with her turkey money. He's going to be the herd sire for her mini Nubian dairy project. He's a uh, purebred mini Nubian, which means he's an F I believe F6 or higher is purebred. And he was born in the end of February. 
And so he's going to be our buck for breeding next year. He's got a really nice small size. And we like his coloring. <laughs> he's got good ears. And he's, like I said, going to be our buck for next year's breeding. So we can breed all of the other does. So now that Colton's home, he will be in quarantine for about 30 days and then he can go out with the other bucks. Thank you guys for watching and have a great week.